Hey guys, so I'm here tonight on kind of like an impromptu um, video. I'm sorry about all the shadows, it's very late at night, it's just gone midnight I think. Um, and I decided that instead of going to bed like I planned, I would make a video because I kind of want to update you all on what's happening with my wrist and also um, I guess vent a little there's um, been some amazing support from my family and friends over this whole issue with my wrist so I'm completely um, thankful to them but um, I just wanted to update those who had been um, thinking of me um, during the last couple of weeks since I made my video on what happened. So, um, I can't remember if I have done a second update um, like planned, but basically I will run over um, the story for everyone um, who is new to it. Um, but also, um, I'm going to change Sweet Maggie here into um, something that she can wear to bed. It's a little hot here today, so um, she's going to wear this short sleeved romper that says Little Miss Princess on it. And uh, although Georgia is more of the princess than um, Maggie is, I still really liked it and I really wanted to get it for her. I really like Little Miss and Little, um, little Mister things. So basically the story is um, last August, so last year, um, I tripped over in a hole and fell and um, had a seriously swollen wrist and all that stuff and it didn't go away. Um, so I went to the doctor and he just he um, diagnosed it as a ganglion which is a cyst to the tendon in your wrist and generally they can be fine to live with and you won't need surgery unless they um, become quite painful and affect your day to day life. So um, every time I went to the doctor about it um, he would say that um, you'll be fine kind of thing um, and I was having some issues with my doctor not listening to me about other things as well so I finally kind of told him how I felt and um, through that appointment he actually looked at my wrist um, and this was last month late last month I think it was um, when he looked at it so it's been over six months and he went, I never diagnosed it as a ganglion. It is definitely bone related, so let's get an x-ray done. Um, in that time, I have fallen um, several times because of my knee. So it could have happened during that time, but the I have a little bump on my wrist. And that has been there since um, August. So I'm just putting it in that timeline. So... Um, I had the x-ray done and I came on to you guys a little bit upset about it because um, I was getting told one thing and then another thing and it was a bit crazy. So basically there is a highly, it's highly suspicious that it is broken and has been broken for some time um, and whether or not it's healed they can't really tell from the x-ray that was done. And so um, I went to my doctor after the x-ray and speaking to a nurse and the nurse said um, yes it's broken um, I've spoken to your GP about it and yeah, yeah went to the doctor and he said no it's not broken you'll be fine kind of thing but I'll get you a, a follow up appointment with a specialist at this um, the, it's kind of like a hospital but it's more more like um, the place where you go but it's not like super important um, like ER it's not like that um, but it's still very hospital based kind of like a medical center and um, so I had my a point I was going to have my appointment with them and then it got cancelled and I was so frustrated because 
Um, I was in pain and I really was looking forward to having this appointment. I was very thankful that my doctor had gone to that length even though he said no. I don't think there's anything really to worry about. So I got cancelled and I had to go back to my own doctor to figure out why it was cancelled and stuff. And while I was there, he mentioned, actually, no, I think it's broken. So it's been really confusing and um, that was basically where I had left the story. So I have seen a specialist this week and unfortunately he is a specialist I had many years ago for... Um, my knee, he is deemed one of the best in my area for knee issues and um, he, how to put it, um, in nice terms, I don't think I can really, he's a bit of an ass. <laughs> that's as, as good as I can put it. When I saw him many years ago, he basically degraded me and um, made me feel very uncomfortable. So when I saw that it was him, I instantly, because I suffer from anxiety, instantly was worried that not much was going to be done. And um, he was incredibly rough with my wrist, like, um, this is my right wrist, so it's my left wrist, obviously, because you can see the, but he was like this. Now, to a person who's suffering from a lot of pain, that was very, very, very hard to deal with and not scream or cry. Um, it was very difficult to sit there and let him do that. And I told him that it hurt me to do that he did when he did that to me. So um, he kind of brushed it off again and said, you know, I think your doctor's probably right. It was the ganglion. We can't tell really from the x-rays. It kind of looks like it's broken, but it's so long ago we don't really think we're going to do anything about it. Which was really heartbreaking to hear. I got really upset. Um, but then he added on that he was still going to do an MRI scan on my wrist. So um, to come back and see him and then we'll have concrete evidence of what's actually going on. So I was kind of relieved about that, but by that time I was in so much pain and I asked him if there was some extra support that I could wear on my wrist. And I was wearing um, one of these elasticated um, braces for my hand that I had picked up from, um, too sure where I got it from. And it's pretty good, it supports, you know, alright, but I can still bend my wrist in it. And so if I make any weird movements, I can still hurt myself in it. Um, and I do use that when I'm working on here, as I don't want to get the one that I'm wearing now covered in here. Um, and he said, no, I don't think you need to wear anything. You'll be fine, kind of thing. And I was not happy with that response. So I asked the nurse when she came in uh, again, and she basically um, said the same thing he did. So... We left kind of defeated, and I must admit I cried quite a bit that day. Um, my mum took me straight off to the pharmacy, and the people there were very appalled that I was left and told that, you know, my wrist, I was just kind of left to suffer. So um, we brought this brace. It's quite an expensive brace, but um, I can't bend my wrist in it which is super good because that's the main problem whenever I bend it or like obviously I can still do the one thing where I'm not going to do it but <laughs> where if I go like that it it just really hurts so um yeah it's, it's definitely affecting the way I live I'm yeah I'm really unhappy with it at the moment a lot of pain so I had my MRI scan yesterday and um I'm hoping that we get some good results. I've had an MRI scan before on my leg, but um, this one was completely different. I had to lay on my stomach and have this arm like that. I'm trying really hard not to move that thumb. <laughs> um, in this machine. Um, and so it was like kind of like Superman position for over 30 minutes. And believe me guys, I don't know if you've had an MRI scan, but holding still for that long 
while you're on a tiny table and the room's kind of cold and you know you're in a lot of pain it got quite overwhelming the the noises alone in the MRI machine are incredibly loud and um, sometimes they give you music I was not given any um, so I had to spend a lot of time convincing myself to calm down obviously with anxiety it's not the nicest situation to be in but I always keep telling myself you know this will give us some sort of answer what's going on so once I got out of the machine though I was really overwhelmed by it all um, very dizzy and very unwell it really took a, a, a lot out of me and I feel like kind of weak for complaining about it and, and all of this because there's people out there that suffer from so much more and are so much braver than I am but gosh it was just so hard to deal with and this whole situation is really getting me down so it's really nice to have you all here to listen and support me and the babies of course are really a great help so I have my follow-up appointment this Monday so in two days time and I will of course um, do another update video sometime later in the week when I've got my head around whatever's going on next so I just want to say thank you if you watched this video to the end um, Miss Maggie looks super cute um, I'm really really happy with her in this it looks really nice on her I don't really put her in pink much but she looks really really cute in it so again another colour that she can pull off thank you all for watching this video and I hope that you are all well and having a great weekend. Bye guys.